What's up guys? It's my last day in Kyoto and I'm at the legendary Nisiki Market. This is a very traditional street market selling everything from wooden sandals to beauty products. And of course, they got a lot of food in there and that's what I'm here for today. Let's go check it out. As soon as I walked in this market, I smelled the irresistible aroma of freshly roasted tea. So I had to give myself a bag. This is sencha tea, like I said, freshly roasted. It smells so good, I want to rub it all over my body. Like the Tsukiji fish market, this place is absolutely packed. I have to keep moving and eat at the same time. To say that this place is crowded is a complete understatement. <laughs> This is the first time I ever participated in a, in a wave of people shifting towards a similar direction. This is Mikan Tendering, so basically Tendering Mochi. This thing weighs a ton. My first bite of food today. Ridiculously good. I noticed that tangerines here are so incredibly juicy. This is like taking a bite of mochi and then sipping some orange juice. Oh. Definitely the juiciest mochi I've ever had. Great start to the day. This may be really weird, but I've been watching this anime. You know the one where uh, there's a class full of uh, Japanese students and they're trying to kill their substitute teacher that looks like a giant octopus? Anyway, I, I was walking by the stand that, that sells these things and I had a sudden urge to eat one. This tastes really, 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 really fishy. Oh, it's cold, slimy, and sweet. I feel like this is better roasted. But when it's cold, the fishy flavor, I feel, like really amplifies. I'm kind of scared to eat the head. There's an egg in here. What? They put a quail egg inside the octopus head. That actually made it pretty good. You know what? That egg completely changed my opinion of this thing. With the egg, that wasn't bad at all. What I love about this place is tons of people are handing out samplers for you to try. This is a Japanese black bean. Huh, I did not expect that to be really sweet. I thought it was gonna be some kind of fermented bean or uh, salty beans. So that sweetness kind of threw me off a little bit, but that thing will taste really good in kanji. This mochi is stacked together like mozzarella cheese. This is where they make fresh mochi. You guys ever see that viral video where they're uh, smashing the mochi up? That's what happens here. This place sells Wagyu and this is the A5 and this is the A4. I'm gonna try them both to see if I can tell the difference. This is the A4. It's juicy, but a bit chewy. Now I'm gonna try the A5. This is the top of the line. This is the Cadillac of cows right here. Yup, the A4 is complete crap compared to the A5. You just cannot eat the A4, all right? It's a sewage. <laughs> just kidding. Actually, I really couldn't tell the difference between those two pieces of meat. Oh. That particular piece was exceptional. I feel like that piece had more fat than lean meat. Now that I've had a, a fattier piece of the A5, between a fattier piece of the A5 and a typical piece of the A4, I can tell there's a dramatic difference between the two cuts of meat. A fatty piece of the A5 just tastes like melted butter. But I feel like if both of those meats are really lean, the difference, at least for me, I couldn't really tell. Also, the beef I had at the real con was night and day compared to this. I still remember that because the taste of that beef is forever ingrained in my head and it'll never leave me. And that is so much better than what I just had. I mean, this is good. It's really good compared to your typical cut of beef. But I feel like I'm kind of ruined. Anytime I have beef now that doesn't taste as good as that Kobe, it's all just junk to me now. This is this is really interesting. I've never seen a shop completely devoted to Snoopy before. I mean, Snoopy is on everything. Snoopy even got his own spinach ice cream and carrot ice cream. Sounds really gross. I'm thirsty and I thought, you know what? I'll support Snoopy. Got a yuzu cider. This is kind of a citrusy drink. Really expensive though, 450 yen. So $4 for this bottle. <laughs> ah, wow, that's sour. Mm. Actually, the more you drink it, the better this becomes. You know what? If you're having a really fatty bowl of ramen, this will be really good with it. This is a beef meat bun made from Kyoto beef, which, I mean, I heard of Kobe beef. I never heard of Kyoto beef. Maybe it's Kobe beef's younger brother. The bun itself is really nice. Soft and fluffy, little bouncy texture. The thing with this bun is it's really sweet, like overly sweet. Also, 
my bread is, it's, it's kind of like three slices of beef in here. I mean, this bun isn't cheap. It's like 450 yen. That's like four bucks. And for that, I expect this to be stuffed with the cow. I'm gonna try this meat on its own. I feel like I just ate a piece of beef jerky. It's really surprising because usually with a steamed bun, um, the filling inside should be nice and soft, but that was a really chewy filling. Don't recommend this. Soy milk donut. It's coming out. Yeah, this this is awesome. It's a conveyor belt of happiness, just dropping mini donuts everywhere. You guys see from that conveyor belt of pure happiness, you get these lovely golden fluffy donuts. And this is soy milk donuts. So does that mean I can eat like 50 of them and still be healthy? And I got these with caramel. Look how beautifully golden, toasty, fluffy they look. Oh. Oh wow. Oh, this is a must have. You come here, get yourself some soy milk donuts. Uh, these donuts are as beautiful on the outside as they are on the inside. Beautifully toasty with a fluffy, chewy interior. Mm. You get a little hint, just a little hint of soy milk. So a hint of soy milk and a whole lot of happiness. You know with these donuts, I could literally be uh, Homer Simpson in that episode where he's like tied up and donuts are just being shoved into his mouth. Let's kind of try that. That was me channeling my inner Homer. I can see how Homer would enjoy that. You know what these will be really good with? Some soy milk. And this looks as fresh as they come. The sauce is a bit of soy sauce with a bit of wasabi. I love tofu skin. Tofu skin is one of my favorite ingredients for hot pot because the texture is a bit chewy and it has great tofu flavor. This actually is not what I ever would think tofu skin would taste like. It has a slight toughness that you would associate with tofu skin. Otherwise, I feel like I'm just eating um, tender slices of tofu. This one, in particular, a little bit chewy. But overall, this dish is super refreshing and perfect after all those donuts. This is Japanese pepper. I saw this a lot um, when they were serving me barbecue. And you can dip chicken or beef in the spice. It's very lemony. Its official name is Sun Shou. And like I said, very lemony smell and they use this instead of white pepper. Oh, that is really peppery and lemony. I get to grill my own mochi today. This is cool. Okay, so here's the instructions. How to grill the mochi. This will be good to read before I do anything, right? Put the mochi on the grill, done. Turn it over every 30 seconds, be careful not to drop. After seven to eight minutes, it's done. And then you add the sauce and the spice. All right, any of you guys want a mochi? Mochi? Yeah? I'd be a really good mochi salesman. So if I, if this YouTube thing ever not work out, I'm gonna sell mochi on the street. Okay. Yep. Yep. I can see that um, when it's toasted, it's turning more white. So that's when I know it's kind of getting cooked. Those are 100 yen. No? No. It's a little small for 100 yen. Maybe, maybe 10. 10 yen. No? This is really fun actually. This mochi is starting to bubble. I feel like this is almost done. Well, check out my mochi that I grilled. Then you put some sauce on there. Mm. That's yuzu seasoning. Sancho. This is the sancho seasoning. Very lemony, very peppery. Seven spice. Spice. Seven spice. Yeah. Okay. Love okay. seven spice. Yes. Love seven spice. Chili. Chili pepper. Love chili pepper as well. Yum! Let's try this. Uh, I should be a mochi chef. I can't wait. Bake the mochi, I can definitely grill it. The sauce is sweet, the seasoning is peppery, it's spicy. And the mochi, of course, toasted to perfection by yours truly. In the name is this do not touch do you really suck the grapefruit out with a straw that'd be unbelievable oh here check it out sweet grapefruit 
and they and they blend everything I think inside the fruit so you're literally drinking fresh grapefruit juice from inside a grapefruit <laughs> that's pretty incredible and they put alcohol in there Wow. If I drank, I would get one of those purely to live out my sun kiss fantasy. You know, those commercials when they used to stick a straw in an orange? And I always thought, how cool would that be if I could just stick a straw directly into my citrus? This pair of chopsticks is 2,700 yen. That's like $25 for this pair of chopsticks. Guys, this is a chopstick family. We've got the papa, mama, older brother, younger brother, younger sister, Littlest baby. I just found the mother of all chopsticks. Look at these things. These are $300 pairs of chopsticks and they're made with titanium, but still. You know what I always thought was missing in my life? A super cool pair of chopsticks with my name on it. And now I have it. I finally have a personalized, beautiful looking pair of chopsticks. You know what I feel like? I feel like when Harry Potter got his wand, That's exactly the same as me getting my pair of chopsticks. Okay, not really, but this is still pretty cool. There are similarities though. He's got the phoenix and I've got the dragon. It was so great getting to try all sorts of different foods at Nishiki Market and time flies when you're having fun and stuffing your face. So until we eat again, see you later.